This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tirana Singh. In today's episode, we begin with Transfer of Training in Book 3. This is Chapter 1, Transfer of Training. The experience of joy comes to a willing mind that has given up all attempts to make exceptions to the miracle. Only exceptions block the awareness of every present miracle-mindedness. Let's look at some ideas that will help clarify what transfer of training is, as described in A Course in Miracles. This clarification will have tremendous benefits for anyone desiring to experience the state of mind called enlightenment. Many have heard the teaching, love does not possess. The world of time-space made by the ego is a construct of possession. Everything and everyone that makes up distorted perception is the result of outcome of the desire to possess. To be free of limits of any kind, it is imperative to expose and release the concept of possession from the mind entirely. There is no such thing as partial forgiveness or partial healing and no such thing as partial possession. Either the mind believes in possession and experiences the illusion of imprisonment, or the mind has forgiven or released the concept of possession and is naturally free and whole. There can be no compromise, middle ground or balance with the release of possession. If you believe you can actually possess anything, you have allowed your mind to be possessed by error or illusion. Freedom is nothing more than the escape from concepts. And all ego concepts rest on the assumption of possession. Once this error is abandoned, all errors vanish immediately. Think a while on what seems to attract so much attention in the world. The body. What plans do you make that do not involve the comforts, conveniences and care of the body? You treat it like it is your home a valued treasure in a world of transient images. Yet the body is nothing more than a temporary learning device that you can use a while to expand your perception beyond its current limits. That is all. A free mind is one that no longer sees itself as in a body firmly tied to it and sheltered by its presence. Without the concept of possession, you would not believe that you can even possess a body. Yet your beliefs extend far beyond just seeing the body as a possession. You have identified yourself with the body and therefore see yourself as temporary and transitory. How can there be consistency and stability at all if you identify if your identity is in constant flux and change? And this self-concept, this identity, seems to change and be as unstable as the things with which it has surrounded itself. No stability is possible in an impossible situation. 
and this world of time-space is just that, an impossible situation. Every day the deceived and untrained mind concerns itself with survival of the body, and the state of mind often seems stressed and at times angry, fearful and guilty. Though these conditions of mind are illusions, they seem very real to a mind that believes in the error of possession. Possession is a synonym for the ego, for the ego desires to get and has no awareness of true giving, which is the natural attribute of spirit. Only the mind can be freed, and it can only be freed through the peace of forgiveness, the release of illusion. How simple is salvation? Trust in the Holy Spirit is a basic requirement for experiencing freedom of mind. Without trust in the Holy Spirit, the spiritual journey will seem like an intellectual endeavor, an impossible undertaking or a sorrowful, intense series of trials and temptations. What is temptation? but the wish to make illusions real? And who will awaken to God's eternal love who still values the illusions of the ego? As you answer the call to awaken and be glad, the purpose of forgiveness is strengthened in awareness and the need for the concerns and the dramas surrounding the body fade away. Thus it can accurately be said that without trust in the Holy Spirit and devotion to this purpose, the awakening will seem to be delayed until there is a willingness to trust. As you develop trust in the Holy Spirit, all perceived problems will disappear from awareness, and with acceptance of the atonement, it is certain that problems will will never return again. Since the topic is transfer of training, our brief discussion will eliminate aspects of this world that seem most problematic. For they are all the same. All of the aspects I discuss are based on the concept of possession. And therefore, the answer or solution will always be as simple as the release of this erroneous concept. Trust in the Holy Spirit undergo, undoes the concept of possession. And as possession dissolves away, only the light of Spirit remains in awareness. The light of the Spirit simply is. When the obstacles have been removed, the light shines unobstructed in awareness. The light of love is perfect oneness. There is nothing lacking or incomplete in perfect oneness. This is the unity and purity of heart that Christ radiates forever, being God's love. In the time-space cosmos, this love has been temporarily forgotten, pushed out of awareness. The sleeping mind has therefore experienced a kind of amnesia about the kingdom of heaven. It seems preoccupied with bodies, environment, food, clothing, shelter, entertainment, competition, betterment, pleasure, attack, economic advancement, education, and striving for progress or destruction in a variety of ways. These pursuits leave the mind mired in an unnaturally stressful state that is highly busy and exceptionally unproductive. 
productivity and creativity are synonymous. Yet the makings and the strivings of the ego have nothing to do with true creativity. The imaginations and goals of the ego serve only to perpetuate the illusion of linear time-space. The linear time-space cosmos of distortion is a game. The only way the game becomes consistently happy is when you allow the Holy Spirit to interpret the game from the lofty perspective of non-judgment. Possession is a belief, the ego, which seemed to set the game of time-space in motion. The game cannot be won or lost. The game can only be forgiven or observed in a beneficent way. The game is in the mind. Though the ego projects a world which seems to be the game, it is not. The game cannot be forgiven or observed correctly until you realize that the game is in the mind. Economics are therefore in the mind. Sexuality is in the mind. War is in the mind. Competition, attack, defense, education, entertainment, pleasure, suffering, body, striving, etc. are all games that the sleeping mind is toying with. The game of time-space is only a game in the mind and has no reality whatsoever. It is a game of belief and has no real substance or spirit. The only thing necessary to be free of the linear time-space game is to stop playing the game and trust in the Holy Spirit for absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. If you open to experiencing the Holy Spirit as the provider, you can open to experiencing yourself as Christ as God, as the Creator. The way is very simple and it is only the ego that obscures the way, the truth and the life. Dedicate your life to experiencing the peace that passeth the understanding of the world. Drama is replaced by certainty. Striving is replaced by rest. Depression and boredom are replaced by joy and freedom. Loneliness is replaced by intimacy of shared purpose. And you are happily in love with God and everything and everyone. So peacefully present am I there is no longer an expectation that people, places, events or things be any different than they are. By grace one lives in the heart of God, serenely unaffected by the journey that never was. How did this awareness seem to happen? By trusting the Holy Spirit absolutely. The Holy Spirit is the how, the means and the end together as one. There is nothing left to search for, nothing left to attain. There is no problem to solve and nowhere to go. There is nothing left to do. Enlightenment is a present experience.